Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life, produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Experimental TV. Well, it is nine hours and fifty-two minutes on the eighth day of December, oh, two thousand twenty-one, not fifty-one. Uh, once again, I did a uh, got a shopping delivery, so we're gonna do that little bit of a haul there, if you will. Uh, I got uh, two more orders of this, the uh, Sour Patch Kids. I like that a lot. I guess it's the Christmas edition. Uh, the other one, what else did I get? I got another jar of uh, the Raisinets here. Um, I like the chocolate cover covered raisins. So uh, one of my favorites. Uh, let me see if I can reach over here and get this. Uh, here we go. So what did I get? I got these are. I was surprised how good these are. The uh, I is the fully loaded nachos. Yeah, the, these are the fully loaded nachos. These these are very good. They had three, 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 uh, for, uh, for one, for, three for, uh, three for a, uh, eight dollar price. I got four of these. Uh, they were out of the three cheese one, but, uh, they were gonna get another four of those. But they were out of them. I gotta leave one of these out. And one of these out. Sitting at my breakfast for, 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 for now. Okay, let's see if I can get the uh, the other one, the other uh, package. Let me just stop this here for now, and let me so I can get the other package. Put this stuff away. And of course, I got uh, four of these. Uh, three lasted pretty well. I think uh, four of these would actually get me through the month much easier, so uh, that will be it for the month for this, and uh, I do have a milk order, uh, a dairy order to put in uh, sometime next week, we'll see what happens, and uh, go from there. Anyways, uh, that's it for now, and I'll see you uh, maybe in a bit... Uh, uh, once I head on back to bed, the way delivery works, I went to bed, I got to bed around, uh, I don't know, 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Couldn't sleep, then around 7, I just started waking up and started, you know, I, I dozed off a little bit and then had the deliveries that were starting to, starting to sort of uh, pop up and be active. Around eight, and so they just uh, came in now, just around ten o'clock. So I haven't really slept much yet. So <laughs> I'm in that kind of uh, state that uh, not fully there. Well, it is uh, just eleven hours and twenty uh, twenty-two minutes into the eighth day of December two thousand twenty-one. We had a package come in unexpectedly, so yay for that. Uh, opened it up, it's the microphones. Uh, next series of microphones that I need uh, for a uh, for a project that I'm working. This is the second half of the project. Uh, this is an audio engineering project, so. Uh, happy for that. Uh, I'm gonna start putting this stuff aside for the next uh, the next this half of the project so but anyways uh, that's gonna be it for now and uh, I'll see you probably later on tonight I should go out for a, 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 a vlog but we'll see what happens in terms of the temperature and everything so see you then oh 
Well, here we are once again. Uh, doing our notes vlog uh, for uh, the 19th, no, no, the 19 hours and uh, 11 minutes into the 8th day of 2021. I'm still waiting for delivery. There's a third, third delivery that I'm sort of waiting for. It's uh, been delayed a little bit, but that's to expect it because it's kind of rush hour and it's hard to sort of uh, moving around places. Things, things are particularly in the evening. Things are crowded because it's now there's also time for is uh, Christmas shopping time. So uh, that's kind of where we are. Uh, uh, a few notes that popped into my mind. I was watching Carly Reese's uh, uh, Assumption of Me video. And the thing is, is that there are a lot of people, and this will sort of go into the, ne the next comment as well, there are people who uh, make very quick assumptions. They'll watch one or two videos and make assumptions of, of uh of who Carly actually is. But you really can't do that because uh, I'm just going to pull up uh, uh, my app here for the comments. Okay, here we go. Comments. Doesn't she seem to be sure in the comments at all? Oh, here we go. Uh. This person is uh, Marcus uh, uh, Pomeroy, if we, if, if we get this right. And it's the third of the many, the, the many of these sort of called uh, uh, these so-called uh, perusers of the internet. And they, well, this guy is—I I, I generally have no idea, idea how I stumble upon your incoherent ramblings, but I generally feel weird, generally feel worried for you. Uh, I see you. You're suffering from some kind of uh, isolated paranoia. Really, uh, hope you have some close family. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that he made this judgment on one video. He did not go out and do any other searching. He did not really sort of uh, mm. He says, he says, I know you might seem like you are the smartest guy in every room, but my guy, you are spiraling down a funnel. He didn't listen to what I was saying. I never say that I'm the smartest guy. I always say that this is research, open-ended research, and there's a lot to basically be learned by it. You, you, you don't just do this automatically, and it's based on 30 years worth of notes. But he made this, he made this, this will go, will sort of, attack into Carly Reese's issue. He made no effort to do any of the research. I always say in there, do the research. Here's here's this point here. Check this out. Check that out. Didn't do any of it. He said, oh, incoherent ramblings. Well, what specifically is the incoherent ramblings? Do you have an example of this? Do you have something I said that maybe you think is incoherent rambling? Maybe you missed a reference point? And, and even in my tweets, I put in reference points. But if a person doesn't bother to go check those reference points, then it's going to seem like incoherent rambling because I'll throw out a term in brackets on Twitter. This is on Twitter. Do the same thing, but you can't see the brackets because uh, it, it's typically what they call an aside. But the thing if you don't, if you don't understand what an aside is, you don't understand what the sort of the the uh, what subtext is, then you're not going to get what I say. And it's going to seem like incoherent rambling. But because there's a lot of background information that is needed. 
And this is the sort of same thing with Carly, is that she's facing, from, from, from what I'm seeing that she comment on her assumptions, is that she found something very disheartening. Well, this is part of YouTube, and she still hasn't gotten used to it, but it's, that's okay. She doesn't have to get used to it. Oh. Everybody has their own personalities. Everyone has their own ways of dealing with whatever comes their way. Uh, but again, it's the same thing, is that they don't pay attention to the overall person. I mean, I've been watching Carly uh, since she's ten year, was 10 years old on Our Family Nest. Uh, she's now at the 16, 17 mark. Uh, I think, well, she's more than 16 because she's been driving for about a year. So I would say she's at the 17 mark. Uh, she's a senior in high school. And I, I, I've seen over, even though we're getting bits and pieces, you can take these bits and pieces of each video, each vlog, uh, of hers and um, uh, the, well, I would say it's the Our Family Nest is, is her channel and her mother's channel, the, the combination of the two. Because uh, it was really Carly Reese who really sort of made the channel popular uh, because she was always having the conversation with her mother. This is the situation they're back in now. Eventually, as our family and as a group, they were able to bring in the husband. They were able to bring in uh, the brothers. But the brothers are now gone. The brothers are gone. And now it's to go back to where they started from, where it's primarily just uh, the mother, Candy, and uh, Carly Reese. And I know, them as, I know the last name, but I always call her Carly Reese because that's what she was known on as uh, on, the, uh, on on YouTube. So that's my primary reference. <laughs> but the thing is, if you over the period of time, you get to understand who the person, to some degree, not entirely and totally, you get to understand who the person is. Uh, what they like, what they don't like. Uh, some of the way they interact with things. Again, it, it, it's observing the interaction. The interaction between two different people is what the entertainment is. This is... Uh, uh, anime's uh, slice of life is like this too. It's, it's about the conversation. It's about the interactions, the personal interactions between uh, the various different characters. Uh, this is something that I enjoy. If there is no sort of interaction between the characters or no interplay, then that's not something I like. I don't really stay at the channel. There has to be some form of interplay. It's not simply about entertainment. It's about uh, the dialogue. It's about the conversation. And more particularly, about the uh, personal interaction, and you get a lot of that with uh, with Carly. You get you get a lot of that with uh, our family nest. Uh, it's the same thing with the audio vlogs. I'm at the audio vlogs now. There's a lot of personal interplay. It's not just simply a presentation of oh, we're having fun today. Uh, there is the sort. They, they do take care of the personal interplay. You see that you get to sort of be part of it, even though you're simply the if you want to call it the fly on the wall. Uh, and you get, is it over a period of time, you get a sense for pe who these people are. Uh, but again, if you don't, if you're just going on, and, and this is a lot of, a large chunk of these people do this, is including this guy here, and most of the comments, it's a one-off comment. It's based on, the, oh, they popped by and saw this for a bit, and, oh, this guy's kind of strange. And, but then bother to sort of connect everything. And I said, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, the, the observation vlog and the Gnosis vlog is a rough draft verbal essay. That's what it is. <laughs> but of course, if you're only watching one video and you sort of miss this part, then you're not going to understand that and it's going to seem like, oh. And the thing is, because it's segmented in just half hours, you never finish the topic in a half hour, so you have to watch a couple vlogs in series in order to sort of get what I'm talking about. But again, again if you only look at, look at one video, you're making that one one observation off this. And this is the kind of... What, I've seen this on Twitter. Some guy popped up and says, you know, Twitter is something, you know, nothing more than, you know, a, you know, conspiracy theory type of thing. And I said to him, you, you, you don't just look at Twitter and that's it. You have to have multiple references, multiple sources. You begin at Twitter and start into other areas. And so this is the same thing. My note, my notes, my rough draft notes, uh, the, the, the notes, the uh, rough draft essays, that's not the end point. That's the beginning. That's where you start and move your way into the different studies that you will, what different areas you want to look up and understand more about. It's not the end. It's the beginning. <laughs> What's the beginning? 
uh, most people, and I've, I've had this conversation many times, I'll use CNN and Oprah as a type. In other words, they're not too deep. They're just uh, for general entertainment. They're like the book on the coffee table. I said the book, the magazines in the, uh, in the bathroom. They're nice perusing magazines. They may have an interesting article in them every now once and again. You know, you know, every now and again. But they're pretty much light stuff. They're light fluff. Uh, it is not organic chemistry. My my, I have a, uh, enough space in my bathroom that I put an entire library in there. And in the library, my current reading is organic chemistry. I'm working on a, a, a problem in organic chemistry. I'm trying to push an idea a little bit further. And so I have a book on organic chemistry, and I'm reading through it, looking at various different structures and how structures evolve. You have to always go back to the textbook, go back to call the, the edge of the puzzle, or your known areas of the puzzle, before you go back into the unknown. You always have to reference that, because that's what you know. And you want to see how what you don't know matches up with what you know. But again, if you don't do this, if this is not something you're doing, then, you know, it's, you're going to have a problem with it. Anyway, it's, uh, I said, I, you know, she was asking, you know, whether people still like her. I still like her. I still like uh, Carly. I don't have a problem with her at all. And, you know, uh, and I said, people are who they are. You watch the person... For me, anyways, you watch the person uh, in terms of the vlog, uh, not because they are something spectacular, but you enjoy the person, you enjoy hanging out with the person. So that's uh, uh, where we are right now. And uh, uh, I'll head on out to uh, the Yowie Vlogs, uh, that's where we are right now, and uh, continue on with the YouTube stroll while I'm waiting for uh, my shopping to come in. Uh, I had forgotten they got something, so I added, to, added a new order. So. A new order will be coming in uh, shortly. Produced in association with Academia University TV, a project of Academia University, open and free education and knowledge. Academia University TV and Hawaii Tea House TV are a part of Cyborg Alpha TV Network, Experimental TV. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for Life.